It's just a lot of mental uh, challenges. Um, Coach Hess and his staff did a great job just pushing us to the edge. That's his model. Um, get to the edge. Um, right there at that line, just giving everything we have. So every day, every day in the summer, we're out there working, grinding, and just getting to that edge. So it was definitely taxing on our bodies and our minds, but we got through it and we came out a lot stronger, faster, and better. Physically, this team as a whole, this time this year, how do you feel just the collective? mental and physical with the team? Uh, we're a whole different team. I think all guys have bought in, coaches have bought in. We're together now. We're a whole unit, and we're just moving forward each and every day to get better. So we definitely see that improvement, and, you know, the sky's the limit. We're just going to keep working and keep working. How about Trey Morrison? What have you seen of him since last spring? Uh, Trey Morrison improved a lot. Um, he's been working on his technique a lot. Um, they've moved him around a little bit, different positions, uh, a safety, nickel, corner. Um, he could do it all. He's a very much of a hybrid for us, and he's just out there um, taking advantage of every rip that he takes. Um, great guy, great attitude. He comes and it works every day, so I'm definitely happy to, to have Trey on our defense and I'm excited to see him play this year. We were allowed to watch the first hour or so of practice yesterday when I was over by your group. I heard you a lot. Mm -hmm. You were very vocal. How, how has being vocal become an important part of what you do because it's a part of leadership and you need to kind of lead the way? Cause you got a lot of young dudes back there. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, like you said, just being a leader, um, that's, that comes with it. Um, just trying to keep the guys motivated, keep the guys focused, locked in. Um, that's my job. That's my role. I'm um, being a leader of the defensive back unit. Um, this is something I try to uh, do, um, be vocal, lead by example, and set the tone each and every day at practice. Uh, make sure we're coming out here. We're not wasting time. We're getting better each and every day. Everything we do is for a reason. We have a purpose behind it, and we're just trying to get better. Is it something that comes a little bit more naturally the older you get, being one of the older guys in the room, or is this something that you've really had to say, I've got to be, I got to be able to do better at this? Um, it's a little bit of both, you know. Um, as a player myself, I always consider myself a leader. Um, even when I came as a freshman, I was out there trying to compete and go out there and, and kind of set set the tone for myself. But as you get older, you have more experience, and a lot of guys, freshmen, come in, they look up to you, ask you questions, so they kind of lean on you for help. So it kind of uh, a little bit of both, where you're the older guy, you have a little bit of more experience, but also as a competitor, you want to be that guy that the team relies on and to kind of lead us to, to success. What have you learned? Since the coaching change, it's made you a better player individually. Like maybe a couple of areas that you need to shore up, or that you just didn't know was as much a weakness as it was. That's now a strength. Uh, just mentality, honestly. Uh, Coach Brown came in and. The coaches that he brought, just a whole different mentality of winning. Everything matters. Um, just getting to that edge and just making sure, you know, we compete each and every day. Just not settling for anything, not being mediocre. Everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be, you know, with a purpose. And I feel like once you have that mindset, the sky's the limit for you. You're just really pushing yourself to get better each and every day. So having that mindset, having that uh, kind of attitude with the guys is something that's going to push us to the edge and make us get better each and every day. So you're saying playing at another level and staying at that level? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Having consistency and knowing what that level is and what the standard is. So having a different idea of what a standard is and what is acceptable and what's not acceptable is really, really making us get better. Tom was talking about 